Well, questions abound and joining me now in studio is Enoch Makanga. He is a security and leadership expert. Thanks very much for being with us tonight. Thank Enoch, you. I'll start by asking you, are you baffled by the investigations thus far? Um, there are a lot of things that uh, we are wondering that uh, the police have to move very fast and create confidence in the members of the public. One, the scene of crime was discovered by a member of the public. This is uh, something that is very unusual because this is something that police were supposed to discover because it's just a few meters from the police station. So that means if at all the woman who said that she had a dream and she went to the quarry had not come to the police, then that means we could never have been caught in this thing. This, this thing could still be on. So the point here is um, uh, police needs to really move very fast. I'm happy that the new IG has uh, really moved the speed we want because people really want confidence. Right now, I can tell you the trust and legitimacy between police and members of the public is zero. In fact, it's minus. Well, the investigations so far have revealed that uh, there is a suspect who has admitted to apparently killing 42 women in a very short period of time. So in that respect, the police have moved fast with their investigations. But do you believe there is truth in those investigations? Because there are questions um, as to really how is this possible? Uh, what I know, police can do their work when they mean it. And this is one of the examples that you can learn that if police want to do their work, they will do it. The only problem is leadership. The problem we've had and we've had, and I'm repeating again, is leadership. Because when you have a problem like the one we had in Parliament, where people are coming, you know they are coming and you don't prepare your staff, then from there you are overtaken by events, then you can cheat the president that uh, they are crooks that came and attacked the Parliament. That's where the problem is. So here, I think I'm um, really pleased that uh, the DCI has taken a bold step and has been able to give us at least information of where he is, what he has done. Uh, they worked overnight. That's a very good thing that members of the public want to hear. But now, when we have a situation where this thing is not being, uh, first of all, like, for example, the Nairobi County that has got disaster management team, none has gone to that site up to now. It leaves a lot of questions. How the government of the Nairobi County is operating without a disaster management uh, team that could go to the site, be able to help this, that boy who has been able to retrieve the, the, those bodies. He's not, I mean, this is just a, a volunteer. So does that tell us that, uh, we are not safe. That tells us we are not safe. So from a security point of view, do you indeed believe that uh, this suspect is indeed the culprit or could he have potentially been framed? Which are some of the questions that are rising to the surface. Depending on the police are found, where I sit, I think he might be suspect. But now we need to really deep into these investigations. For example, you cannot kill somebody and you, carry, you can't carry somebody from where that man was found, this house, you carry him to that quarry. When you pass that quarry, I've gone there. It's just a few, few, few meters away from the police station. And you must pass past the police station before you get there. So that tells you the OCS of that particular area didn't know what is happening with this area because every OCS has a responsibility to come up with a security strategic plan of what he needs to do in his area. So that means things were happening in his area and he didn't know what... What, what is happening? And that's why I'm telling you, there are some people who have joined the National Police Service that are not meant to be there. They are meant to be somewhere else. So if it sounds so unusual, how then could it be true that indeed this suspect is the killer? Is could, the could there be a cover-up? The, there's no cover-up because the information they've given is that uh, they were able to follow up these details from uh, the mobile phone uh, communication. Um, they got him with so many SIM cards. All these things are revolving on accomplices, people who helped in uh, committing this crime. And these are the things that uh, I think this year are really pushing so hard to be able to get in, net in as many people as possible because there is no way this gentleman could have done this alone. It is not possible and it can never be, po be possible. There well, are people who are involved in it. Are you able to share, in your opinion, who these people might be? My argument from a security perspective, from a security angle, is one, from where this man is staying as uh, the, the culprit. Now, how were these bodies moved to this quarry? And yet, they were able to pass through a police station. 
two. Let's assume they, they were carried by border border. Yeah, they passed through the police station. You mean 42 police were carried to a police station without the OCS knowing what is happening, even these officers knowing what's happening? Well, that means there's a disconnect between the OCS and the members of the public, and that's why members of the public are a little bit bitter in query. So are you ultimately saying that the police in that area just simply did not know what was happening, or there could have been some sort of involvement? They were either involved, and that's why the Inspector General has said those involved or those who might, might have participated in making this thing happen will face the full force of the law. Well, that is good, but from where we sit, there is no way such a type of big crime can happen within your area of command, and you are an OCS, and you have no strategic plan to be able to understand what is happening within your area of command, because every OCS knows the type of crimes that happen within his area. That's why he's there. And he has to come up with a plan, one, an operational plan, then deployment of his staff, knowing who is supposed to be where, and then the last one, community policing, using members of the public to be able to assist you to know what is what is happening. There's no way such a thing can be happening in in in, a, in a, the Quare and the police don't know, the OCS doesn't know. That tells you people are playing with the job and that the people that we are saying don't transfer them. The question of transferring them is transferring a problem to other Kenyans. These are people who need to be fired like yesterday because they are creating problems for the government. So from a security perspective, this could have been an inside job in your view? Definitely, definitely. Somebody slept on the job. We've had issues of where people are sleeping on the job and nothing is taken. I'll give you a very good example of what happened last uh, two weeks ago. Right, yes. and, and we won't delve into that because we're almost out of time. But uh, my final question would be, in your view, what could the motive be to kill uh, 42 women? What is happening right now, the question of cult has really got uh, dived into Kenyans, so many Kenyans. Um, People have not been able to come. People are hiding information. People try big gas, but most of them, if you follow them up, you find people are really into this thing of, of cult because they want to make money. So the question is, we need to make sure that we actually beef our intelligence, let people get on top of this thing, because at the end of the day, we're going to lose young girls. Remember what happened during the B, A, B, A, B, A, B and B? Yeah, the story just ended like that. And as we are talking right now, a lot of girls are b disappearing. Now we are talking about 42 women. We don't know whether these women, their bodies will be discovered. And uh, if they are discovered, we have to make sure that uh, our intelligence moves to another level. Otherwise, if we go the way we are going, then a very big lay down by security agencies to the president because the president has given them jobs and these guys are not trying to deliver. What they are doing is to, to, to lie to the president that these things are going on right. But okay. on the ground, things are totally wrong. All right, Eric uh, Enoch, I beg your pardon. So many more questions, um, but unfortunately we are out of time now. Thank you so but, much. Uh, thank you so much for yeah. your uh, expert insights. Thank you so much.